Hello, hello everyone, welcome to the stream. So, um, today, since I have practiced, you know, doing the 0777777 thing for the cameo last time, and hello both of you, I think it was that, Simulic Sam and Flatway Realism, who just joined the MP server, and is probably trying to do, uh, to do get with me. I don't know what gate is spawned, I had to put in a coordinate, because if I use the gate spawn location, it will actually put the, yeah, any multiplayer server can be used, they're just asking for it because I guess they ran into problems. <laughs> they all bridge to each other, like I always say. So, if I set the spawn at the gate location, it will actually, like, hit each other, hit, uh, it will actually be halfway into the terminal, kind of like that plane right here. And that might mess with the plane, so, uh, I don't do that. But first, before we go ahead with this, I have a surprise from... Uh, was it Symbolic Sam, if I remember correctly? Is that he actually created a livery, uh, tried, tried to create a delivery design for me. Unfortunately, it does not seem to appear here. I might have to go ahead and look it up at some point. Uh, maybe at the end of this, if things don't work well. Anyway, this is the, uh, B7, this is actually the B777 from Frank, uh, or Frank. Oh, whoever that was, uh, which is, was the guy who uh, made a push, pushed a bunch of improvements in and just, just randomly disappeared. It seems to, uh, by consensus, it seems to be the best version of this to date, and in fact, it is definitely better in terms of vertical navigation. This one actually has has pretty accurate vertical navigation, which means that uh, I don't have to, you know, manually put in altitudes like in A320. The hangar version also has working that, but... Uh, Unfortunately, it was not as accurate, and it will kind of descend too early. So let's get started with the startup. Uh, this one is actually easy enough that I could probably just do this one myself. To make, uh, just make this quicker for myself, I'm going to turn up, turn off a bunch of these, which I don't use. <laughs> right side view, not going to use that. Front gear, becoming useful. I don't use these. And there we go. And uh, this plane also has checklists that you can bring up and get done. Uh, let me. Uh, there's also another checklist available, which is basically from uh, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. The airport is VTSP. That's Vector Tango Sierra Papa, also known as Phuket Airport, where pretty much almost every single direct kitty flight starts. <laughs> Uh, I have the manual stored somewhere, which I'm going to be using as a reference throughout this flight. There we go, I have it up now. You can't see it on your screen because I don't have it shared, but I have it up now. Right, so, in terms of the route I'm going to use, let me share it early so you guys can caught up. Uh, as you can see, uh, we were we are going to be flying from VTSP, which is Phuket, to VTSE, which is Chumpan. Uh, this this these routes are uh, this is chosen because it has just about the correct length uh, to fly for me to consider correct. Uh, as as I said, you can use default. I'm going to be using Surat One Something which came with the old navigation pack. This is an old set, by the way. I don't think this set exists nowadays. Uh, at least it probably has changed a little bit. At VTSE Shimpan, however, uh, at runway 224, I do have the... Hi, Lizzie. On one of the runways, I have the correct approach, which is, this is the exact approach, to, and it is current in real life, and it's going to bring me in a, basically a square pattern in. So we're going to use this. Runway 24 is the only one on this, which actually has an iOS, so we're going to follow that. Why is my 777 delivery so dark? I'm not sure. And is, is it at you? Is is that you, Pape? Is it, are you Lizy? Anyway, uh, I'm going to use ground power. So I'm going to connect up uh, that ground power, turn on the battery, and do the external power. This is probably one of the like, very few things that I can actually, very few planes that I can actually like read through and do this. Uh, and for these, it's basically just dark cockpit, and if anything is red, you turn it <laughs> somewhere else. And so the pumps, uh, we're going to turn that on in a bit. 
Uh, our main, our main. Let's run those in a bit. Where's all that electric hydraulics that we just turned on? Uh, route. I will we'll go back to the route in a moment. Hi, Devanch. I'm fine. By the way, uh, let's just let's just put it up here for anyone who wants to copy. Also, there's there's a, a single midway point which is STN STN, which is at Suratani. It is part of the SID, so I'm just going to put it down here. Uh, departure runway, I'm going to listen to the 80s in just a moment, so I don't know that right now. ARR, okay, the, the runway that we're going to arrive at Shumpan will be runway 24, and that is fixed because that's the only direction which has an ILS. By the way, I'm just going to turn on lots of these lights for now. That seems strobe, I guess. And now, we're going to get the engines going. If I remember correctly, uh, so we're going to start. Wait for that to go up to about 20 in terms of N2, and then we hit the fuel cutoff. Crash was spawning at the gate. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, that looks about right. Let's turn on a few cutoff. And just to save time, I'm going to start engine 2 right away and not wait for it. Cruise altitude, uh, yeah. That one is going to be, I think, 2,000 feet. So FL, sorry, <laughs> 20,000. So that's FL200, which is just about mid, uh, which is just about right. It's not a very far airport. What are those sounds? I hope those are the engines. Uh, symbolic sound did you just to like, disconnect or something? Anyway, N1 has start. Uh, first engine has started. Follow that idle, so we're good. That one is going to start. Engine 2 has now completely started up. Let me double check this again. Uh, we got an external power cut off, but okay, so we're going to turn on the ADI review. Window heat, we're going to turn on all of them. And the rest should be okay. We're going to turn on an ambulance in a bit. Turn off, I don't think we need that. Text lights, I'm going to turn that on. Oh, it's already on. Uh, and external power, I'm going to disconnect that now and go forward to push back. Oh, in front gear for you. Okay. Strangely enough, I think I think I get more frame rate than this usually. Okay, this is going to be a slightly strange pushback, guys. Are we supposed to start engine two, three? I, I don't know. I always start one first. Uh, BKB one one two P six seven. I don't want to tell what to do. We're just starting at the different gate. Who is P six six two? Are there like more people here than I realized? Wow. And yeah, I think I think the gate start situation in VTSP is complete bonkers, so nothing to worry about there. Anyway. Let's do some proper things for the moment. Okay, uh it's very like a request push back some pushing back thing. Sick. Oh, just to make everyone know that I'm about to push back. And let's check the weather for the moment. So, the winds are variable at 2 knots. And that makes my job a little bit more difficult. So, Suratani uh, is actually right over there. So, I'm going to take off from 09 just to save some time on sound fast time. We're 7 cents into hugging! Anyway. Uh, anyway, we are going to start from 209, and Sid is going to start 1A, so for you guys, those who do not have Sid, you can just uh, fly through STN, which is a VOR, and you guys will go to the correct, the correct place. All of these points are not in ICAO, or they're not in flight gear, so you're not going to see them if you search them. Anyway, I'm going to activate this now, and now I'm going to push it. 
people have been waiting for me for way too long already. To do a view and center wrap. Two groups of Oh, it already included that, okay. Where is the previous point anyway? Oh, it's slow. Okay. Anyway, we're done with that, so let's get going. And disengage the parking brake. C19. We have a lot of time in cruise, so I could probably just go in and check what the livery is about. Show, always show because it looks nice. <laughs> the engine source already started, so we can probably just get going right after we start there. We have four people, by the way, we have four, 11 people in the live and watching this stream, and we have like four people that's, that's joining me. <laughs> probably, that's probably a record. We have landing like that and frame rate tanking. Uh, Ruby, Madison, uh, which one are you? Oh, you're not that one. Oh, it's Lizy who's taking off right now. Okay, nice. Anyway, we're going to take a break. Just going to go track truck. I'm going to open the tiller. And we can be on our way right next to this guy. Who's in a holding? World record? <laughs> probably not. I think that uh, there's probably a few more. That we can use. Anyway. Let's see if we have it here. Uh, by the way, the runway is 09. And currently, right now, the winds are basically variable at 2 knots. We don't have a direction. So we could essentially do it anyway. All right, I think that will clear up soon. So I am going to release the parking brake and go ahead and take off the taxi. Uh, personally, I uh, use an N1 of about like this much, about 30. It's a little risk on this plane, so I'm going to do that. Yes, again, the altitude is about 200. And I think I messed up here because I forgot to fill it in here. That might be dangerous. Anyway, with this throttle setting, we can pretty continue to that, but we need to use a slowdown. Uh, who is that in front? Is that an AI or is that someone? We'll probably see in a bit. Hi, Kwaku. Nice to see you here, too. Anyway, I'm just going to hold at this junction for a moment, just to wait for both of these two, and because I need to set some things up first. I just realized that I forgot to set the altitude and route manager, which is, would not have been good. Right, let's stop here for now. Route manager, I'm just going to clear the list and rebuild. Should not be, should not be take very long. It's just literally just clearing and resetting. Uh, but again, I'm not sure if this would mess anything up. And just to be sure, uh, this one actually does have an FMGC, however it's not the most usable thing. Uh, it's not the most functional thing in the world. However, it does have a, it does have a, I think it does have a page with the Okay, essentially, it has a cruise altitude, and I think it's probably a good idea to set it. So, two, two, one, feet, and you can set it just like that, and exactly, which brings it in. All right, just to say, just say things a little bit. IAS, I think about 180 is about right. Heading, we're going to set later, and altitude, we're going to dial straight to 2,000, to FL 200. Let me check for a second. What server you're flying on? I'm on MP server 2-1. However, 
the server does not matter. You can join any one of them and they will interoperate. Alright, so we need to go back up and let's taxi. Oops, too much, too much. Okay, I need to put the nose back on the thing here. Okay, we're going to be holding after that lane. I'll follow you with an AT20. Good idea. That's what, that was a, like a about the same type of lane, I would say. So that's a good one to use. Right, I'm just going to turn on my landing lights right here to hold, hold short. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wait until the run is clear. Right, lights moments. We're going to have the line of lights on, text light on, and have light on. And I'm also going to get TCAS set up. This one, okay, uh, just so you can give guys the body and get to do 1, 2, 3, 4, and of course TARA. Of course, we're going to use iOS, so we're going to set the radios later. So, now we're just waiting for the, this A320 now. Kind of in 2019, one plus 2020 not working for me. It's okay. I think there was a point at which things would not work. They hit high, there, but there was an older multiplier protocol which would not work with newer versions. What the heck? <laughs> you just spawned into my plane! Come on! <laughs> Am I just spawned in? <laughs> anyway! <laughs> I am right away here, so... <laughs> I bet this guy's taken off. Let's keep going. Uh, model match. I haven't looked at it because I was busy getting the flight underway. Also, I need the auto focus on. And I also need to set the parameters. Yeah. 209. Pro Pilot is calling out. So that it actually lines up with the run but for God's sake. AP is now an Avena. Auto throttle, I'm not gonna turn it on right now. Flight director. Uh okay. Last thing, I'm going to double check the weather for a moment, and this thing does actually have a EFB set up here. And among the most useful pages is the weather page. As you can see it's Q11007. So let's just flip this over here. And uh, change it to 107. There we go. I'm checking this They're having a hug. <laughs> this test version of SU-34. Is that the that thing that I did not recognize? Anyway, flaps is going to be at 15. Let me double check. Uh, being active for a second. Now we're going to wait until Flight 15. Flight 15 is locked and loaded. The Da Vinci SU-34. I think that's the experimental thing, right? Queen's Line to arrive. Yeah, I still have that time. Great. Uh, we can play on this connect. Have a great flight, to you, Matthew. Have a great day. Right. Flight director's on. My night's on. Seatbelts. I forgot about the lights. Okay. You guys, where are your seatbelts? You guys at the back. And. We're going to let's go ahead. Controls to half. I think control T is on the front. Oh, park brake. <laughs> I almost forgot about the parking brake. Anyway, there we go. All them going. Right. 
60 knots, 80 knots. Comes the convert. V1, rotate. There we go. Hold this for a bit. Gear up. Okay, I'm going to drop it down for a bit just to make sure that the speed just keeps going up. Autopilot on. It dropped down by a lot because we kind of need to pick up speed here. <laughs> oh god, I'm terrible at takeoff. And also, okay, middle marker, we're good. As, as soon as it approaches that, I'm going to start retracting the flaps. There we go, plus five. Uh, you pressed that mouth on me, wait turbulence. Oh, okay, but we're out it. I'll, I'll have a look. It'll probably be me a while though, because I, can, I, can, I can't tell. This is probably like five miles out, so... Yeah, I have to zoom out this arc thingy. And now one plus one. Still run up on a runway, said Matthew. Yep, just don't take off because I'll run my runway problems. There's a lot of planes on the runway right now. Then she's still connected. Okay, we're out there now, so zero flaps. I have a slight bit of an airspeed warning there. But we're good now. Okay, just for fun, we're out of them. We're going to just make sure the TTS is on. And we're going to have that center for a bit. Oh, maybe not. Uh, this is a 10 mile circle, so I am not sure if this is about the right place. So. so let's say that if I'm about here, I'm pretty close to the IATC, then I guess you can take off. 2 minutes 30 seconds into his departure. I have I I didn't have I don't have my chromometer running so I'm not sure about that. I can't help with that. <clears throat> anyway, let's have a let's. Go. Uh, I can't see you guys on TCAS, so let's have a quick look at the map and see if we can see you guys. So G six one eight eight, which is the SU, this is the fighter jet escorting me, is currently here, and we have a bunch of people waiting. I think uh, Flight of Realism is waiting here and actually taking off now. So good, good job, you. And we have ACA, and the, uh, okay, that's an AI. TG208, that's also an AI, and Lizy still on here. B667 is on queue behind us. And Simple Exam is already in the air lane doing his thing. Right, so uh, we're going to approach the AINTC now, and this is going to turn over there. So, what we're going to do now is tune a few boards just to help us. So just make sure not to trigger. I R A, because that would have been that would probably not be too nice. Okay, so this is the chip of the approach path that I program in. And I what I want to do here is I want to tune uh, the a first nav radio to this thing, ICPN 109.9. I probably have already this program in already because this is about the only thing it did to me. Okay, traffic traffic. <laughs> Alright, so 109.9 is going here. I don't hear the RA, but. You guys are tricked. 
You guys are triggering our ace. It's not bad. And the heading, by the way, is 240. This is, of course, going to be a game take. That's on the upper radio, and this time to turn it to here, this thing for now. It's around 24 here. I thought I heard something. Anyway, so we're at finding for the ME, uh, which is this guy, at 110.6, so 110.6, and following the route manager at least, we should be following a course of 39 over here. So, radio 39, should bring us pretty bang on to our platform. It's not going to be too accurate, but it's going to be close. Uh, the canvas map generally does not work very well, at least for me, so I don't use it very much. Anyway, pistol speed. Uh, right now I'm cruising at three two zero. I'm just, I just make it having it do its thing. So, anyway, for R, and I can see the distance to uh, Suratani right here and compare it up, up, up there. Over 1,000 feet, so landing lights can be off right now. That's the lights, of course, off. The less of these are going to still be on. Uh, you guys can come in with any aircraft I want. You want? It's just that if you have used it on a standard aircraft, you might just appear as a blue glider on my screen. I'm probably not going to have enough time to show you guys anyway, so probably don't want that too much. Let's have a look. Some like uh, flight rules and kind of want me to look at this. Yeah, as you can see, I think it's way too easy to break. <laughs> Sometimes, also you can drag it. So I I don't use it too much because it's kind of broken. How about C seventeen? Uh, yeah, any plane you want, if you like it. Nice clouds. Unfortunately, uh, I had a lot set pretty low just to make sure that I don't run out of ramp. I'm sure I'm running into some limit here, though. See if I can tweak things. Oh, not too much. Check out a runway. Uh, I don't see you on here. Anyway, we're cruising. So let's have a look at uh, what our review we're doing at a moment. ASA 5665, which is actually a, who's actually a plane, is taking off at Phuket. They have a C-17 Globemaster, of course, we, you're going to fly as a blue glider because I don't see you. Just spawn in, so we, we're going to wait a little bit. Let's take a look, have a look at a ACA, which is apparently an easy jet taking off. Yeah, it's spawning in a moment. Uh, it just spawned in, so, actually, there we are. That is your... Uh, that is your C-17. I don't have the model of it, so it appears as a blue-yellow glider. Turn off your tea castle will make some noise. Okay. Somehow it frosted up over here. Probably a weird glitch of some kind. Oh! <laughs> actually, are you getting a number RA? You gave me a number RA! What the heck, guys? Anyway, nice takeoff here by ACA 5665. Where's the Globemaster? This one's taking off now. Okay, let me have a look at P667. Told you to turn it off. <laughs> yeah, I thought that uh, would already turn it off. Apparently not. I actually have to turn off the transponder. So you all are in cruise. Except, oh, you just left. Anyway, we're fine.
This guy's not taking off. That's nice. I'm going back to myself and checking on a plane for now. We're good. We're past, uh, we are past 20,000, 1,800. So we're done. Can you open a route? Sure. Anyway, we're not going to have uh, time for shenanigans uh, today because Unfortunately, I do I do have a lot to do uh, this week, so it's going to end pretty soon after I land. And there, there is actually someone tailing me, apparently. Who would that be? SY001 tailing me at 2 miles behind and triggering a lot of RAs apparently. Hello Luke, nice to see you here. Let's see if we can see each other for like... Apparently not. And there we go, another RA. What do you use for the model matching? I don't know, this is just the default. I haven't messed with this at all. Is that me? Yeah, apparently that's me. <laughs> You're at two, uh, 2,500. I'm at 2,000 because I'm, I'm kind of leery about going too high and possibly messing things up. So you're definitely going to like pass me. <laughs> Hi, is that multiplayer? Yes, this is multiplayer. We're currently flying with each other in real time. I think I can see which CSY somewhere up there. That's probably a star. There we hit, there he goes. Are you at max graphics? I'm about right. I actually have the graphs on. But you, I, I don't think you can see the grass at the airport. And yes, I'm at pretty close to max graphics, except I have the uh, LOD settings turned down just to save some RAM. Which is, which also means that you cannot see too. I cannot see too far away. And in fact, you can see the land border right there because I have the LOD turned down. That's another airport, fun. Anyway, I, can't, I can no longer see SY01 apparently. Ah, oh, there he is. It's flying past each other. It sounds like there's no good for 3777 Allen for FSX, and my computer can't run a flight you're good. See you, good to see you've enjoyed flying a 777 from Luke 648. Yeah. 345 knots. <laughs> That's why <laughs> mine maxed out at 320. God. No, you're triggering a lot of RAs. Anyway, that, this should be Suratani Airport, which is, as I said, the VOR we're flying over. We can, uh, we can actually land here if we want. And you can see, I think there's probably some grass on here too. In fact, the patches here will only appear in like this level of detail if you had used back graphics. I got quoted once for not using back to the max. Anyways, Rotani, we're passing it right now, so we're going to change war one to go over to uh Chimpon, which is at 110, and I'm going to have to basically be searching a course here. And just for funsies, I am going to make it use a the course of 240, but I'm not I'm just going to use DME. This looks strange after PMDG. 
are you uh, new for 6 a Are you using joystick? No, I am using a mouse. I don't have a joystick with me right now, sadly. <laughs> yeah, PMDG. <laughs> best quality seven four, best quality Boeing's in the flight sim world. Unfortunately, pay. I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. Anyway, uh, what is uh, what you should find out now is that the 777 will generate a top of the sense. Oh wow, that's early. It will generate a top of the sense right here. And this is going to be where it will start descending. It looks kind of close. It's actually with 800 altitude here. But that's a minimum altitude. And I have tried this and it will actually like descend basically just in time. So we're going to watch out for this point. It's which is going to gradually come in. It's really like in the Citation 10. My PC 88 degrees. Dude, I think my CPU is probably at about that or worse. In fact, let me take a look. <laughs> By the way, the, the VNAV sucks. That got caught in a spam filter. <laughs> And by the way, I definitely, I definitely take up way too much RAM for some reason. I think OBS managed to, sorry, Flight Gear managed to gobble up more RAM than it ever does. <laughs> oh wow, I need to watch out for these sometime. I guess it's a leak. But yeah, manual descent could work too. It just VNAV allows me to relax quite a bit. Yeah, so for some reason, my PC is covered more memory than usual, and I had half of my swap file gone. Including the only place I already had a installation laid down. Good, prioritize yourself. Right now, my CPU is actually at about 60. Most likely because I do have a uh, because I have a frequency limiter now that basically keeps everything in a safe place. Anyway, the thing about this absurd memory usage is that uh, first of all, of course, it doesn't you don't see the. Uh, more as you must see the scenery tons as usual. And also that also means that I actually this session might crash at any time. <laughs> Basically. I have a boom killer. Basically make sure that nothing can double up too much memory. And Flight Gear has a real chance of get being the victim of that right now. I'm not sure what is taking up so much memory at this time, actually. Oh, usually I have tested this, and this is usually okay. Usually not too bad. Who is that? Probably a uh, simple exam right there. Well, I guess it's someone that uh, someone said that the uh, fair livery actually caused a memory leak, and that this might be why. <laughs> Unfortunately, this might be why. Unfortunately, that that, that he didn't even accomplish anything because the dark kill delivery is missing. What just happened? Oh, weather change. Okay. And by the way, we're getting close to the top of the scent here. I am recording your takeoff. <laughs> yeah, that was a terrible takeoff. TP in above, TP in above 70 nautical miles. 
what the heck does that mean? Demonic Sam said look up. I don't see anybody up ahead, but I see you behind her. Nice job with the tracking. like 40 or 50 miles from the airport so <laughs> whatever you're, you think will happen is going to happen a lot faster than you think and by the way what is T slash P I, I don't know I should look at the chat box here not player Last moments before we descend. Let's have a look at ours. Flight slides cruising here. Can't see me from here because, of course. A six six seven and a seven 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 three hundred ER. Pretty much the same thing as I have. And A C A five six six five and an A three twenty Neo C F M. Just crossing. Uh, what is it? This is Surat Thani, I think, right now. Let's go back to self. Let's go back to myself and have a look at a map. Not the canvas map. <laughs> you have Symbolic Sam, just following me, of course. Now you have Realism and P67, just tracking me really straight. And it's probably just using the default uh, save fare. And we have, of course, uh, this one, which is ATS565. Passing this Rattani right now. And know my livery is still dark. No idea. Anyway, we're going to close the top of set here. So, I'll have to go back to watching it soon. Quan Riazan has seemingly has already started a slow des uh, his descent, which is good because that's about where you should do it. P67 is still up above. Okay, I'm going to keep this transparent up here just so we can have a look at the other people's. Oh, I'm going to put this here. I'm glad so much I know what I'm doing, don't worry. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that you were bad. That's that's about where I would have done it if I'm doing it manually too. Anyway, the DME from the iOS is spotty. We have the bore out right now. We would turn on the bore out just so we can I can see. Of course, the iOS is pretty close by. And we are doing the correct one, ICBN, the the Shunpan iOS. However, uh, we still don't have a reliable signal, and that's okay. We just passed top of the we're slowing down to 280, and oh my god, I forgot to dial this in. I'm supposed to dial in the uh, target altitude before we hit top of the scent. And I forgot about it. Oh my god, it's not gonna be good. Yeah, I, I actually do have to test out VNAV because, of course, it makes those things work really perfectly and kind of hairy sometimes. 
especially true when it comes to the FG add-on or the or the one that you can hit download in the launcher and it will download it uh, version. But that one descends way too early and way too fast. Probably not way too fast, but definitely way too early. Anyway, we're approaching Magni now, and we're going to start churning. And it is not descending, because of course. Okay, uh, I need to go do a manual VNAV now. Because, of course, I didn't die in the altitude, and it didn't start descending. So we have to go ahead and pull this Oh, damn speed right now. Because as I said, this is actually kind of fly manually on 10 feet for our chat. Yep. We now have this been whatever and you do. That's definitely okay. That's hopefully okay. I just don't like thinking too much. <laughs> and Anyway, I'm going to Give it a slightly easier time. But yeah, we need to descend really quickly here. Because we kind of switch out. Anyway, what's the weather like? 2977? Or what is that in Hector House Health? 1008. Okay. There we go, 1008. Alright, so because that didn't ha because the VNAV didn't kick in, I'm going to have to do my altitude manually now. So this thing is going down to 8,000. Which applies with this one and also the next point up here. Also, hi Karen Brown, good to see you here. like SY is still pretty close to me. He has already descended, which is good. FLCH for a second. And for speed, once I'm once I'm safer, I want to go down on that too. Let me check what, about where this has to be. So I'm going to drop it down to about 200, I think. Karen Brown, I don't think I remember you, but yeah, nice that you got, nice that you got like you're working. All right, we've had this one now. Now we have to go down to 5,000. I'm reading off the display here. And we will probably reach it just about in time. Kind of close, but okay. Five FPS. <laughs> I'm also at ten FPS. <laughs> so you have good friends in hand here. Let's see how y'all will land. Not as safe as I, I could possibly feel, but okay.
also with the NSR searches, are they working for you? Um, at least for me it does. And also the auto start works, I just don't use it this time because it's kind of more fun to operate it manually. Okay, so 220 is about where it would put that. I guess. And flaps one within this leg as long as I can make it down to the curb. So, flight with realism, I guess I get your wish. <laughs> I didn't have, I have to do an autopilot manual descent instead of VNAV. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, now that we're crossing this, we're doing this to 300. Okay, what's the extension speed for flaps 1? 255, so we'll do that. Chop it down a bit. Weird how the flat car didn't appear. Any auto brakes? Uh, we also need to set that. At this airport, it's roughly free. I still have the speed brakes out because I'm still late in the process, <laughs> unfortunately. Try to, but the switches got stuck when you click them because they got stuck on the right hand side. Oh, uh, for for me personally, I have to use the mouse wheel to roll on the switches, and then it, it could go both ways. Most of the switches work that way, and except when you're talking about the dials on the H320, which you have to push and pull. Those work a little differently, and it's kind of a pain. Drop it down a little further. To roughly 200. Actually, about here. And now that we're passing that, we can drop the altitude down to uh, 1900, which is where we are supposed to intercept the iOS. And also, the iOS indicators here should now be accurate. I'm going to drop it down a little further. Actually, it could still be slightly faster. Uh, it's stopping. God damn it, okay. I am in glad slow, good. You guys so slow. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I just wanted to slow down a little bit just to make sure I hit things. And by the way, Flight and Realism, I don't think you're in the glide slope if my map is correct. Except maybe the other guy. 2500, let me just make sure I see the airport. Uh, no official contact, but we're so far enough out. By the way, we have localizer, so let's do that. Up mode. And now we have our on the localizer. We're currently fixing an altitude and waiting for the glide slope capture. It should happen about right here in the dot. Right, glide slope is coming in. I'm going to start pulling back a speed brake. Just to save on some fuel. Right, there we go. Now we drop down into a flat 5. We have a visual of the runway. Good. Right, so land lights on.
Right, nice and on glide path. We're going to land free. Okay, let's tell let's tell all our people first. Go. But we're going to go down to five sixteen. I think we're close enough. One thousand. Okay, one thousand. Let's get the gear down. Sweet break. Oh, they're going to go back to R. Okay, more flaps. Oh, we're close enough. They should go to the 30 now. I know that I'm not stabilizing this. I'm just bullshitting here. Sweet break. Stand it and pull it back to. And there we go. Nice Cinema. and good. Speak right arm Cinema. on break three. Two hundred. Full on feet from back from visual. For the other person. Hope we can exit the runway in time. One Might have to up to auto break four for that. Oh! <laughs> you just flew right through me. God. I got awesome video. Nice on you. Twenty. Twenty. 10. Ten. Waiting for wheels on. Move on. Now I'm going to do a reverse thrust. Should up automatically. I guess not. Okay, autopilot is now cut out. So I'm going to stay on the right side of the runway for now. Okay, and I'm going to dial this thing back to the normal thing. Before I taxi to the terminal. And watch you guys just come in. Okay, auto bike is on arm. Uh, oh. I guess I need to go back to to about idle, isn't it? There we go. Back out, so... ASA 565 asking if we had a rover run. Airport for me to load. <laughs> I guess someone had an overrun, there we go. Anyway, I'm just going to taxi back to the terminal. Okay, is there any money on the run? Probs not, so let's just go back. We do have Tori on the run anyway, so... Let's go to this wing to head right outside, but I'm fine. This plane can handle that. There is someone on the run of course! Damn. That was so good to see you here. You know, there is a reason that this airport in real life would have had like, I don't know, uh, four flights per hour or something like that. So they have plenty of time for planes to just go ahead and taxi. Not so in flight gear, we have planes landing every like two minutes. Collision is off, but so that's nice. I am dead. Did you overrun the runway or what? Rest in peace. Yes, landing. <laughs> Why says automatic download inactive? I guess you turn it off somewhere. If you haven't turned it off, then you can just turn it back on. Automatic download not so huh. 
I haven't heard of that before. Wait, break. Now it is shutting down. Alright, so again I'm going to pay attention next to all power cards. Probably being in a bringing a bus. And a stair. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this down. So for us to idle, just making sure everything is out. We're gonna cut the food and turn the next one. Alright, and we are done for this one. Let's have a look at SY01 for now. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't see you on the map, but what are you doing? I need a PC! My end is 50% <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I ha did have a problem with the reverse thrust just then. I nearly ran out. Why are we Allison? Do you like like military things or what? Uh, no, this is Frank's one. It was pulled off the internet, by the way, so I had to, uh, I had to ask the real ace if he provided it for me, which is, thank you. Please let me land. We have enough time. We can watch you land. Exceeding the maximum bank angle for passenger service. <laughs> Naturally. Anyway, you are above the glide slope, Symbolic Slam. So you're gonna need some serious street wake work. <laughs> By the way, my laptop does actually have a delete key, so it works. You're gonna need some serious speed wake work to make that work. Or and donut turn. Yeah, that should that's probably a better decision. <laughs> Don't worry, over butter. Yo uh, yeah. It's it's okay, we're looking. We're looking out for ya. I probably can't see all the speed brakes and flat you have deployed from this side anyway. What is your laptop specs? I don't have the exact numbers at the moment, but I think it was a GTX G uh, 1050 Ti for as a graphics card, and my CPU I it's an i7, but I don't have the exact numbers. Not as powerful as my la the last computer, a Blue, which actually handled uh, you know rendering a lot of stuff on CPU just fine. This one doesn't. <laughs> This one had terrible thermal debt management. Yeah, good one. Uh, Quacky, are you coming? Watch out, Fair. <laughs> These are probably. You're probably grazing a few houses in real life. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There we go. Um. Oh, a oh, ACA! Is, is that you, Kweku? That's nice! Anyway, I am just going to check and check because. I can't. Uh, I can't answer questions like this without like knowing the specs, knowing what CPU you have, and it would still take looking up. So, let me close building settings. I think there is. I think I can have, get you a pass mark that I guess I'm get, getting on my machine, which is just going to be a moment.
unfortunately, I don't think I have that up. Unfortunately. But yeah. Uh, what do you find Fryer 16? Because I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> That's all. I mean, these airliners, uh. I, I've, I've only started to try trying flying these airliners, you haven't gotten used to them because of you guys telling me to. <laughs> so F-16 is probably going to be the next step. Now let's see how butter this one is going to be. Your flight pattern is in 94. <laughs> <laughs> probably. Definitely that initial descent. And I have Kweku coming in over there. Yeah, it looks like evil butter. Let's have a look. Let's have a look together. Wait, did anybody stop symbol like Sam and Kweku? Oh, he's... Is he on final for the, from the upper side? Kweku's on final from the other side. Anyway, that was a nice landing. Rafi Rez, I'm starting with F-16 again. I won't have too much time for that, unfortunately, but we'll see. Anyway, Kweku is on final with an aircraft on the runway. <laughs> At least you don't have to care about it because there's no collision in flight gear, so... Um, there is actually, you can turn it on, you can see it in the MP dialog, but of course you have to turn it off because this isn't bad <laughs> thing. isn't floating because floating at this runway would have been ATF classic side my landing rate was good landing nice you might overrun the runway there though unless your brakes are really good which it does appear to be nice job yeah what the heck just happened I mean your plane is tipped over to all of a sudden on my screen Nice job, and Flood Riazum is on the F-16, ready to take off. Uh, you okay? Yes. He's slow enough to actually now, so we're good. Nice! We have a good size collection of aircraft now. And that's why I see the one is along with me in the apron. Probably going to have another one coming in here soon. I should move forward a little bit. <laughs> I just realized I'm actually blocking the tax away. This plane is huge! Round equipment here. Oh, I, I do have to get the out of the way first. Bus and the. I am ready! Oh, have a look at the new graphs. I have to clear this taxiway first. A screenshot, please. <laughs> no idea. It's going to go back and we're playing Terminal X for power for a moment. Let's get the system cycle. Not very calm. Yeah, we're going to make a group screenshot, peeps. Anyway, yeah. By the way, uh, I was go as I was about to say, uh, oh, okay, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to, going to go ahead and prepare some things real quick. 
Let's still have that there. Hey, what's about to say is that uh, civil exam actually prepared a really nice delivery for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So it doesn't work for some reason. So I'll probably have to like have a, take a screenshot of it and have a look at it earlier later. But as you can see here, I, I have I made a slight remix on a theme of your uh, livery, and I plan to have this on the fly today, but unfortunately it doesn't uh, work. Um, but yeah, thanks thanks a lot for to I think it was simple like Sam for fine, uh, for sending me this gift. It's really nice. But yeah, back to flight gear. You know, maybe have that here now. Another plane in a way. Flight Rounds is not playing with the M16, but we're, let's take a group vote. What are we going to do the group vote first? Uh, and for the group photo, I'm actually going to abuse tower view. I don't have empty camera right now, so this is about the best I could do. Chances are these. What the Oh. I need tower a little bit. I need delivery for default hanger. Ah, oh, nice. Hundred, probably the other way. Uh, this is the pain if you don't have an empty camera. Let me set up the camera in a way that's going to be really jabby. Something like this, I guess. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't. I don't think that's going to show uh, deliveries. Show deliveries good. So, I think we're just going to go right over here, and well, five should be about right. And have this other as a group group photo. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get that shot, but it should be in the video. Three, two, one, go. Smile. There we go. By the way, let's open a map so we can see who's who. So, in order of that, we have... This would be ACF-5-6 Scythe, ACA Kweku Adu, and symbol like Sam in the AP-20, and me in the Japan Airlines livery. Because I'm really invisible as I have my own. Yeah, that's probably why it got set to the easy jet. I wouldn't have access to your custom delivery on my on my computer. Oh hey, that's the group photo. Maybe another one from here? Okay, three, two, one, smile. I don't know why I'm saying this, the lag is more, definitely more than 3 seconds, so... <laughs> anyway... Yeah, I have a few minutes, so... Let's have a look at the... Uh, a list, and we'll have a look at what Flight Realism is doing in his X-16. Buzzing around Shimpan Airport. See if I can get a good visual. I am the default liver AP20. Yep, I see ya. I think I'm a little too late for the to cast the flying over there anyway. Yep! <laughs> I I I, I kinda of tried to make a group photo with you included, but nope, couldn't. <laughs> it's, it's going way too fast and couldn't spot it. Still can't see you from here, unfortunately. Oh, there we are. Too late! 
got another group photo in, but unfortunately not including Flabry Awesome. This goes by too fast and comes out. Don't worry, he's in a video, you can screenshot from the video, yeah. Screenshots on video just aren't the best quality. So, unfortunately. Guys! You got damage! Let's see if we can catch him this time. No, unfortunately, negative. Okay. A little better idea to just use Tower of View for next time. But it can do that! Nice. I'm not sure how the dam damage thing works, but I think that uh, it will actually. I think that the way it works is that uh, if you turn on damage, you will receive damage if other players hit you. So if I don't turn it on, you can't affect me. <laughs> Just to see if we can get a visual on him this time, get a good photo. Nice! I might have gotten that! Few pixels, but wow! I might have actually gotten that! <laughs> Never be so fucking proud of my life. Anyway... This has, been a, this has been a nice flight. Random memory issues, delivery not getting shown off, and... Yup. <laughs> the VNAV breaking, and me having to do this manually. But... Unfortunately, I can't do this in a group photo. So, I guess we're just going to comment out here. So, thanks for watching, uh, thanks for watching everyone, and thank you for all uh, participating in this flight and probably making it just a little bit more attractive and fun to have you. So, I'll see you next time. Have a nice flight.